not only did Ayn Rand make the case for what America is, has been, can be, she also pointed out the dangers, how things could go wrong. And unfortunately, the last couple of years, we've sort of taken the how things could go wrong route more than one would like. And so the novel is timeless because the, the, the tendency of individuals to want liberty, of the state to want power, goes back to Caesar and Brutus. Uh, but it's heated up here in the United States over the last couple of years. Mm. Look, this is a celebration of America, of the idea of freedom, of self-ownership, the rejection that other people can run your life for you, that people, the, the celebration idea that people are free, not slaves, and that you can't be sort of a slave or sort of free. You need to be free. And that freedom works. And that statism, where the government tells you what to do or, or somebody tells you what to do, doesn't work well. And you see it in the movie, and sadly we see it in our lives around us in Greece and even here in the United States. But what was interesting is I read the book, Atlas Shrugged, because I got tired of people telling me, you're one of those Ayn Rand people. And I, what are you talking about? So, I, I, so evidently, I was with the program. <laughs> and then I went and read the book. And I said, oh, yes, yeah. this is a great book. And I, I kind of feel the same way about the movie. I love the film. It's a great movie. Um, it's the second part of a three-part movie. It's like Lord of the Rings, but for adults.